Hey folks, welcome back. It's Lucid, and we've got another turn or two uh, with uh, this game here in Mountain Arena. So, uh, looking like Lanka and Micklin pulling real far ahead this game. Uh, message from Lanka. Uh, Dear Omni AL, uh, watching Agartha's army get mulched by that throne last turn is so tempting. We have really friendly Diplo. That's funny because they're about to get knifed. Um, but it's hard to watch that happen and not pounce. The problem is he just pieced out with TNN, so they team up against us, and we don't have quite enough cute little monkeys to fight them both. Plus, we still need to clean up the Misfortune 3 mess. Uh, suddenly, there's a horror cult south of Machaca, and we can't patrol them and patrol out this Bane Venom charm. It's the worst. Okay. I think the Bane Venom charm is demons, but yeah. Message from Ubar. So that battle went uh, better and worse than expected. On the good side, I survived the attack. On the bad side, I did not even manage to put a dent in the Dione. Um, I had to start looking for other tools. I lost most of my troops, which need to be rebuilt. I uh, got raided there. I uh, got raided a bit here and there. Next goal, kill one Dione, just one. Oh, God. Holy Scourge, my friend. Holy Scourge. I think it's only construction, too, too. It's, like, not hard to get. Um, I mean, he's on the... <laughs> He's thinking about the right thing. But you can also kind of kill him with the air elementals, uh, though that's a little more tricky. Um, so I don't know. There, there's ways to... I think air elementals are how you're going to try to kill him when they're alone, but you won't really be able to stop them from retreating. Um, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I think that was our last message. Let's go to Ubar again. So, they get raided again here, and they're successful. They get raided here. Uh, the main army of Ubar moved to this farm. So he's controlling that, but this got put back under siege by more Dione. And there's more ghouls moving in as well. Yomi's doing an excellent job applying pressure here. There's just so much pressure coming out. But... Uh, Ubar is doing a good job raiding. I, I think we're going to see Yomi's army graph going down a little bit. If we look at it, where's Yomi? Why can't I see it? Here it is. Uh, no, it actually went up this turn. Okay, so despite the fact that he lost uh, 60 Bakamona, his army graph went up. Uh, doesn't look good for Ubar. Doesn't look good for Ubar. Um, he might, we have, to, we have to look up, um, that, uh, that Evocation 6 spell he's going for. I think he can, um, kill them. I mean, he can, I, I think he can kill them with it. I'm, I'm not, we know Holy Scourges will work, but a Smokeless Flame might work as well. We'll have to see. Uh, there was a bunch of deep raiding here, and the Dione come and take all this back. These guys centralized here for some reason. This just is a bad idea. I mean, he could put gems on them and then maybe kill these guys with uh, air elementals. I mean, in some sense, if the gin keep jumping in front of them, I don't know how gins and air elementals will combine. Because, like, in theory, the gin could jump in front of the Dione and keep them from running off the field. But I think the Dione will kill them pretty quick. And I don't think the air elementals are going to kill regenerating ethereal Dione very quickly. I don't think you're going to kill them with smokeless flame. I mean, maybe you can. I, I don't really know. We'd have to... I'm going to pause and see what kind of damage smokeless flame does. Okay, it's 45... I think it's area effect 1. 45 armor piercing uh, heat damage. Fire damage. Uh, let's see, how is that going to do against this guy? First of all, the AI might not even choose to cast it, just because... So it's going to it's gonna be 45 damage. It's going to first get reduced by heat, so it's going to go to 30. And it's going to be 30 against half of, fifth, of 25, which is going to be, let's say, 13. So um, 30 versus... Uh, 13. So, I don't know. I could do 15 damage around. That's not a ton more than he's regening, though. I don't think it's a great plan. 
I think you really need Holy Scourges. I don't think there's really other answers. I mean, you can get them to run with air elementals, but you need to kill them at some point. Uh, there's also probably another option. Let me see. Mm. Wait, where's Ubar? Uh, one second. I think the Sultan are size five. Okay, the other way you could kill them. Uh, I mean, there's you could do Great Swords of Sharpness and Mass. That would work. Uh, you could also use Sultan that you cast Enlarge on or put a Crown of the Titans on and give them Midget Mashers. That's another way to do it. But uh, you're going to have to get in melee with them. I don't think you're going to shoot them. You could Soul Slay them. Um, but that's not really something these guys are going to be able to do. Yeah, I think in reality, you're going to have to get in melee with like Demon killing weapons, armor piercing weapons, uh, and like with a critical mass. So it's, I think this is really interesting to watch because I think this could have played out where Ubar crushed Yomi, but right now they're just slowly getting over overrun. Um, and I, yeah, I mean, it's not going to take long. Like this army is going to go on top of this, and there's a decent chance it's going to crack this fort again. It might take another turn or two. The good news is I think the raiding war is about to go a little bit more in favor of, of Uvar. But we'll see. Though I think this army's... I mean, I, I don't even know how you get these guys out. It's going to be dangerous just extracting them. Okay. Uh, let's keep going. Hinnom... So this army from TNG has come back, and presumably it's going to come in here and fight Hinnom shortly. And uh, that's that column. We'll come over this way. Lanka. Agartha looking like they're going to go for this throne, the Golden Throne. That would be very nice for them to get. Oh, so he finally sends the god in by himself after sacrificing the army. Now, given the Springhawks are dead, I'm not sure how the, this would go if there were a bunch of Springhawks. And the Pretender decides to jump in melee in what is, I think, can only be described as an exceptionally risky move. He is not quite fatigued out yet. Kills the Pretender. The Pretender chassis. He doesn't want to stay in range of that water element. Oh, he's got two water elementals pounding on him. Oh, but 71 HP regen. That is ridiculous. I also don't want to be trampling Springhawks, really. He really need like, a fire shield of some kind. Charcoal shield would have been really good here. Especially for the Springhawks. But he takes it. Oh wait, he doesn't? Wait, what the fuck happens? I'm sorry, it's an indie tile still. He must have run off the screen and a summon remained. That's the only explanation here. Like a water elemental. Is this guy casting swarm gonna fuck everything up? This Apoluco or whatever you call it? Phantasmal army? Yeah, you want fire shield here. Agartha routes, but the Apoluco's already routed. Okay, that's fine. You just take it next turn. Um. Tirnanog, coming over here, takes out these Centaur. Miklin takes this. He gets the Crystal Throne. Ooh, that's a big deal. Earth Mages for Miklin. I don't know if he has access to that yet. I think that's new for him. That will be big. Plus, he's probably going to find some sites here. Uh, I don't know if this is from Scales. I think this is because there's a Well of Pestilence here. 
This is getting spicy. Blanca trying to get the... Oh, he finally caught the... I think... Was this the Reaper? I think this was the Reaper. The Bane Venom charm. Yep. Damn, Andy. So he finally got those guys, and now he's got to come kill these demons. And apparently there's a horror cult here or something. Yeah, Strange and Sinner. <laughs> That's a horror cult starting. So, uh, yeah, Lanka's having fun in the PvE experience. Um, Tiernanog looking like they're getting ready to go on him, but I'm not sure with what. Like, Tiernanog didn't really have a big army, right? They kind of killed Agartha, or like fended, fended off Agartha with like a huge mage core. I don't know really how many troops they have or what they're planning on killing Lanka with, but uh, I don't think those sort of things are going to work very well. Like, having mage spam against these quickness and suras, I don't think it's going to go very well. And like a few elite elves versus like chaff plus quickness and suras, I don't, I just don't see this matchup going well. I'll be super happy to be surprised. Uh, and I know Lanka is going to play well. Um, so if TNN can figure out something that's going to do well, I'll be really interested. Gets attacked by uh, demons here. Despite not having Misfortune... Oh, it's a Demon Gate. Okay. I was like, I don't think you get attacked by demons very often unless you have Misfortune 3. But there's a Demon Gate, so... That comes with the territory. These can be annoying to kill, too. They're not trivial. Like, eight Storm Demons... Like, you kind of need... You have to really show this respect. These are not easy to get off the field. Same thing like Demon Knights. Like, ten Demon Knights will fuck you up. Okay. So it looks like they've agreed to uh, to fight uh, Lanka, but haven't really been able to make any progress. Uh, the Fort of Niflheim not cracked yet. More Van Heers running around. Uh, loses a Van Jarl to PD. That's actually... Or, I'm sorry, a Van Hearse. With, uh, with Niflheim Jarl killing gear. This was a Van Jarl. So he has misform, but he's just harassed down. Yeah, he's boned. Um, I think too, if you look at it, he would have been a lot better not on fly and attack rear. He would have been a lot better to just attack closest. Um, he would have, you know, more fatigue or, you know, less fatigue because uh, he didn't have to cast flight. He also would be less likely to get completely surrounded because right now he's getting hit by the archer tiles. You might be like, okay, is that going to make that big of a difference? Actually, yeah. Because uh, he's primarily getting hit because they're getting past his defense. That's his primary layer of, of defense. Of like, you know, it's not he's not a protection thug. He's a defense thug. So having these three archer tiles hit him in addition to the, to the infantry, it's very likely if he was just on attack, he would just have infantry on this side. And so he'd probably be at like four or five higher defense. Might have been enough for him. It's also this... He's also having to kill the archer tile in front of him before he kills these guys behind him. Just not... I mean, he could have gotten on the commander with it, but I don't know. Just doesn't make a ton of sense to me. He's working on cracking this fort. Micklin. Uh, let's see. Vanheim takes this. He's got a big boatload of lizards coming up this way. The lizards will probably do okay against Micklin. Oh, they're going to run. I forgot they have horrible morale. They're going to get, like, beaten by the Sacreds and then run. But if the Sacreds are, like, in a bad formation or something... I mean, they'll kill imps and other things reasonably well. So we'll have to see. Brook of Glimmering Pearls. Niflheim with three Gaijas attacking Miklin. Going to set up his new home in Yomi. I would be so pissed if I were Yomi right now. Like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> like, what are you doing? Like, go fuck off is what I, I would be so... I would be irrationally upset. <laughs> I mean, on one hand, it's funny. On the other hand, it's like, like, what are you doing? Like, I'm trying to play my game over here, and you're just fucking with me because we're both giants? I don't understand. 
anyway, uh, that's happening. Um, Micklin taking out this. I think that's basically it for this turn. Uh, not quite 10 minutes. Uh, we'll go ahead and check out the current turn. Uh, let me make sure I have it saved. All right, the turn is downloading. A lot of people have already done it. Message from Ubar. Rinse and repeat against the Diony. This time HP route is probably not an option. Well, he, I think he's going to actually have a Siege Army moving on. Uh, but I'm very excited to see what happens. I don't think he's going to be able to kill it because he hasn't discovered Holy Scourge technology. Okay, no Diony here. Oh, he's got Smokeless Flame. But... Okay, he's going to have Smokeless Flame then for when he's fighting the Dione. I don't think it's going to matter. Okay, there's a Dione here. So I think they're on Guard Commander Advance and Cast. Oh yeah, this guy's in trouble. And he's he can't escape. I think they got one. I think they got one. Uh, why were they able to kill him? I thought they had shock resistance on the Bless. Let's see what this guy scripts. Oh, he had, um, he was using copper plates before. So he has a bit of shock resistance, but that's not enough, especially if he does iron skin. Yeah, it's only five. So lightning bolt can get through that. Okay. Uh... Yomi versus Ubar... Ooh, three Shaitan. This is going to be really interesting. Now, I think these guys have some gear. Yeah, this is the... Oh, God, this is... Oh, that's not even the unequal to B city, dude. They all have copper plates, though. So the question is, will Smokeless Flame do enough? I think it can. The question is, will the AI want to cast it? Oh, I'm so excited. It's probably one of the cooler battles we've seen so far. Don't get any fucking closer, gentlemen. Oh no, it's too close. Oh, they're going for the chaff instead. <gasps> no! Oh, the sm those were smokeless flames. They definitely hit. But yeah, it only did like chip damage. Not chip damage, like 10 or 11. I think that was what we calculated. 22. Okay, they've switched forms. Oh my god, it's working. I didn't think it would work this well. It is. Now they're clearing out the chaff. Oh my god. This is fucking nail biting. Oh no, he flame vaulted. Oh, he switched forms. Oh, but he's running. Oh, God. So he kills, um... Five of the Kahan die, one of the Jinsa here, one of the Shaitan. But he kills one Dione. I think this is a big portion of I mean, this is... How did, I guess these guys were summoning chaff. This could have worked. It's just the chaff didn't last long enough. This is only to kill three Dione, and there's so many more. I think he's boned. I think that's it. Oh, he holds these, guys, these ghouls off. 
And uh, this Dione takes care of this PD dump. Yeah, gotta be real careful with PD against Dione. It's good against the Bakamono. Not very good against Dione. Is this unequal to obesity? No. Oh my gosh. All right. Uh, Dione all over the place. I think the thing he's probably worried about too is like if I if I get in melee with Dione, like for like a holy scourge, like they're fucking killy, right? Like they're not gonna like look at these guys once they're buffed up. Yeah, 25 attack. Jesus Christos. And that's gonna you have to be careful putting dudes in melee with that. And the copper plate, too, makes it tricky because there's a decent chance whatever's in melee is going to zap the copper plate. I guess you can let other things go in first. Yeah, I don't think Holy Scourge is necessarily like going to just completely solve this problem. I think it's the solution, but I, I mean... Your guys carrying the Holy Scourges may just get, like, fucking deleted, too. Right? So, I mean, like, this guy is going to murder somebody, one person a turn. Oh, man. This is an ex this is finally heating up and being exciting, now. Uh, these guys moved off. Okay, so he's not... This is... Okay, 10 Shaitan? Jesus Christ. All right, he's not out of it yet. He's not... We still have lots of cool shit to happen. All right? We're not going to inspect this and see what he was planning on doing. We'll see what happens in actual combat. And this is where he killed another Dione. Um, this is getting really spicy. I'm really loving this war. I hope... God, God damn it, Niflheim. What are you doing? Leave this guy alone. I, I want to see these guys fight uninterrupted. I'm loving this 1v1. Um, gosh, this is so cool. Oh, they're pillaging here, too. Why are you pillaging? That doesn't even make sense. It's going to be your land, bro. I mean, I guess he's trying to make Oni Pit. I guess it makes sense to make an Oni Pit over here. Okay, I don't know why you need two, though. I think just pick one. I mean, Ubar has turmoil scales, right? So you don't need to, like... This isn't about chaos power, right? This is about demon production. Um... How strange. I don't know why people just have a boner for Yomi. Like, Hinnom is just marching his stuff. I would be so pissed if I were Yomi. Like, Hinnom just decides to march all of his stuff to fight Yomi for no reason. Niflheim is doing the same. I'd be like, what the fuck is happening? All right, Tianchi's coming to put the nail in the coffin of Hinnom. Okay, going underwater with these dudes. Oh, I didn't know they were amphibious. Makes a ton of sense, though. Uh, very cool. Uh, gosh, this is such a cool war. Uh, I can't wait for next turn. See what happens. Uh, Lanka. Okay, the elves haven't attacked. Lanka's playing the PvE experience here. Cleans up some demon knights without losing anybody. Oh, he's killed the commander. I wonder if he seduced him. Or he probably assassinated him. Um, so he gets this throne, throne of water, actually pretty good. Um, I mean, you potentially have a ton of sacreds as EA Agartha, so definitely nice. Uh, and they can, de they definitely enjoy the water income too. So super nice for Agartha to have. Uh, sadly his army has died, so uh, not sure what he's going to muster to come over here and kill Lanka, but he better get a move on it. Because at some point, like, Lanka having twice the resources of each of them, he's going to have more tech. So he's going to have... if Once he's fully established in here, he should be able to win a 2v1 reasonably easily. Because he's going to have twice the resources, but also be higher tech than them. Presumably. And we'll actually have to look at the research to see. Um, is this finally cracked? No, the fort is not cracked. But oh, this fort's not cracked either. 
Yeah, Vanheim tends to not be very good at Siege Chaff. I think if you're planning on rushing somebody's Vanheim, you actually want to recruit Indies. Uh, we can see the Lizards here, but yeah, you definitely want Indies. Just because none of your stuff is really great at like knocking down forts. Micklin just fucking powering up. I'm just going to call it. I think Micklin's going to win this. Lanka's a contender. I mean, th there were a lot of contenders. I think this this grindy war between Ubar and Yomi <sighs> make it hard for either of them to win. I mean, Tianchi could. Tianchi's just been too slow on taking Hinam out, but they could power up and win. They've got really good gym income. Uh, oh man, Micklin's still ahead in gym income. Ooh, is this Vanheim? TNG's right nearby. Yeah, TNG could. I mean, Micklin's just going to be so far ahead. I think they're just going to win this. But I, we still get to see, in my opinion, some of the most interesting things with the map. Which is like, what happens when somebody's threatening to take over a column? Do p other people like start coming through here? Are these passes wide enough for people to come through and like say, okay, I'm going to come fight Micklin? We'll have to see. And it's going to like, who even can will be dependent on like how the wars are going in the other columns. So I have no idea how this is going to go, but it's pretty interesting. Pretty friggin' interesting. All right. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying uh, tune back in next time, if nothing else, just to continue watching this Ubar Yomi fight. This is really cool to me. Um, yeah. Until then, see you guys next time. Cheers.